Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Q&A with Dallas Tompkins. I'm your host, the Answer Man, Dallas Tompkins. Now, as some of you uh, already know, I've been through a little bit of a difficult transition in my personal life as of late, but I feel I'm ready to rejoin the program and I'm all out of vacation time. So let's get started, shall we? Now, our first question comes from El Yost of Surprise, Surprise, Allentown, Pennsylvania. She writes, Dear Dallas, it's commonplace to see nudity on TV overseas, but not in America. Why is this? Well, some of the first settlers in the U.S. were Puritans, and their influence on culture and social mores has reverberated throughout the centuries. They believed in modesty and humility, fidelity, uh, you know, you get the idea, so uh, let's move on. Tom D. from Corpus Christi, Texas writes, Dear Dallas, I'm going to ask my girlfriend to marry me, <laughs> but she's vehemently against the diamond trade. Can you suggest a suitable replacement stone for an engagement ring? <sighs> Young love, you know. When, when I was going to ask Melody to marry me, uh, I didn't have any money. I wasn't working at the time. So I, I got her a, a little plastic spider ring out of a vending machine in front of Walmart. And probably should have just given her a stiletto so she could stab me in the heart. Do we need to cut, Mr. Tompkins? No. No, no. We're doing the show. We're doing the show. All right. I'm going to move on. Our next question comes from, you know, I can't even read that, but they write, uh, Dear Dallas, is there any solid evidence of an afterlife? Afterlife. Let me ask you some person whose name I can't pronounce. Who cares about an afterlife when you're already dead inside? I'm going to move on now. Our next question comes from Janice S. of Bethany, New York. Thanks for writing, Janice. She writes, Dear Dallas, I've been at my current job for 15 years and I'm just not enjoying it anymore. Would it be wise to change careers? You know, this is so typical. You know what, Janice? Some of us believe in a little something called loyalty. And we don't, we don't just walk out the door after 15 years because we're a little bit bored or dissatisfied or childless. Some of us believe in keeping our promises, even if things aren't as great as, you know, when we got our first apartment together. And uh, sometimes I swear, what, what, what do you want from me, Odell? What do you want from me, Dallas Tompkins? I, 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 just, I just think you're getting a little off topic, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, people. I forgot that this was the Odell show. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. It's not the Odell show, it's the Dallas Tompkins show, and I'm Dallas Tompkins. So shut the fuck up, Odell. Moving on. Some guy somewhere, I don't know, asks, Dallas, what exactly is a topiary? Topiary. You know, there was a man I used to go to when I had questions like this. He was a, a man that I trusted. He could create a masterpiece out of a bush using just his hand shears and then he started trimming the wrong hedges. I'm gonna move on. Our next question is from Bitch from Bitch Town. Bitch writes, Dear Dallas, did we really go to the moon? <laughs> did we really go to the moon? I don't know, bitch. Did my wife really go to Disney World on a three day weekend with the gardener and them on It's a Small World After All in front of some animatronic Eskimo children? Survey says yes! And that weed pulling lawn mowing son of a bitch used my frequent flyer miles. So tell me, tell me, Melody, did you have a good time? Huh? Did you have a good time in the Magic Kingdom with a mouthful of gardener cock? Did you? Okay, when okay, I think Dallas. I Dallas, I, I really think you're going too far here, man. Fuck you, Odell. I will sew your lips shut and shove a bamboo stalk up your ass. I am Dallas fucking Tompkins. Do you understand that?
All right, we're back. Well, we got time for one more question. It's the email question of the day. Woo! Comes from Dave. Apparently, he sent this in during today's broadcast. He writes, Dear Dallas, what's your problem? What's your problem, Dave? Let, let me tell you what my problem is. It's that two drunk kids back in the 70s got together, fucked, had a baby, raised that baby, sent him to college where he got three STDs and a degree and sucking my ass. Then he got a halfway decent job, a computer, and a high-speed internet connection just so he could write me an email that says, what's your problem? It's you, Dave. You're my fucking problem. All right, I want this guy's IP address. I'm coming to get you, Dave. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Tune in next week. If you're lucky, I'll fucking be here. Hey, Dallas, 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 man. Just suck my dick, Odell, all right?